This lesson is on linear equations in one variable, and before we get started on that, we do need to have a few definitions. The first one is the addition property of equality. The addition property of equality states that if we add the same value to both sides, it will not change the equality. So the addition property of equality, uh, adding or subtracting, the same value to both sides of an equation sides will not change the equality. Now, it is called the addition property of equality, not the addition slash subtraction prop property of equality. And the reason for that is because actually you can change all subtraction to addition. You might remember from uh, integers that you can always add the opposite. And that's basically what we're saying here is that subtraction is addition. Um, if we change it to plus negative, we just generally won't do that. If it's minus 6 that we want to do, we're not going to say plus negative 6. Um, so just an example of the addition property of equality. If we have x plus 7 equals 19 and we want to isolate x, we can apply the addition property of equality by either adding negative 7 to both sides or subtracting 7. So I would say minus 7 on the left-hand side, minus 7 on the right-hand side, and that will not change the equality. So what we would end up with here is x equals 12. Uh, and so we say that x plus 7 equals 19 and x equals 12 are equivalent equations, meaning they have the same solution set. They both have a solution of 12. That's the addition property of equality. Next, we have the multiplication property of equality. The multiplication property of equality states that if we multiply the same non-zero value to both sides, that it will not change an equality. And kind of like addition and subtraction, the same thing applies with multiplication and division. You can take any division and rewrite it as multiplication. Um, so we don't have a division property of equality. It would just fall under the multiplication property of equality. So multiplication property of equality, multiplying or dividing uh, the same non-zero value to both sides of an equation will not change the equality. So for example, if we have n over 4 is equal to negative 3, and we want to get n by itself, and is being divided by 4 to undo division of 4, we would want to multiply by 4. We multiply the entire left-hand side by 4 and the entire right-hand side by 4. Uh, the 4 times 4 and then divide by 4 cancel each other out, so we would be left with n or 1n, which is the same as n, and negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So again here, n divided by 4 equals negative 3 and n equals negative 12. Those are equivalent equations.